Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101, and today we are going to talk about this. This is a map case. Um, I got this at my um, uh, military surplus store around me, and uh, the price for this was, you know, not bad. It was a uh, $14.95. It was 15 bucks, you know, after you do taxes, but um, they just had the olive drab is what the color of this they had. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a really, really long time, and I've actually had this for about six months and been kind of little by little piecing stuff together, and I'm still piecing stuff together, but um, some of my friends and uh, family members that know I'm a prepper, they were saying, well, you should do a video on it. I said, well, I'm not done. They go, well, you should at least show them where you're at right now and then come back in a few months to see what I've added and and so on. So, and that's what we're gonna do here. So, um, this is the military uh, map case. Uh, let me just give you the dimensions of it. it is uh, 14 by 12 by 3 so you know it's a pretty good case and um, you know it's definitely uh, it's, it's not waterproof but you know it gets wet but it kind of keeps everything um, dry that you have inside which uh, for the military what they use what they used used to use these for is you know is for maps they would have like one person you know that would have one of these and it, this would just be chuck full of maps and everything um i know you watch some of the old uh um mil uh war movies especially like world war ii i remember they had the, uh there was i remember a scene in band of brothers some guy had something very similar to this that had all the maps so um you know the older movies you see this now um you know they have the smaller map pouches and stuff like that so they really don't use these anymore but um I wanted one, and I'm going to sh get into showing you what we're, I'm using it for as of right now. So, and it is for doing maps and to have stuff ready to go in case of a situation where we do need to bug out. Um, as of right now, you see, I just have two pens and a pen. As you can see, you have multiple slots for more pens, highlighters, um, you know, whatever you could be. So, whatever you wanted to add to it. So, you know, I have that. And as you can see, it has these plastic dividers in here that you can just add different maps and these sheets in here too to kind of try to help keep it clean. So um, actually, I believe no, this is the map. This is the folding pad it came with it. Sorry, that you can lay this out. It's like a tarp, and then you could put your map on there, cover it up, and you know you're good to go because it has these sheets. They're individual sheets that you can then put them in, keep your maps you know, nice and clean. So you could either do it that way or you could use them as like a little bit of a tarp. So that's kind of nice that it came with these. Um, so that's nice, you get three of them. So, you know, you could add more maps to it to where then you could have them in the grids. So it's up to you. And then you have the plastic uh, dividers that you can add stuff to it. So right now, um, going to show you the maps that what we have right now that we keep in here. Uh, I live in Ohio, so, um, you know, we're close to the Indiana, Illinois border. Um, you know, if we have to go east, you know, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, if we have to go south, Kentucky, Tennessee, you know, then we even have an Ohio, uh, West Virginia map. So it's kind of good to have just maps of your surrounding states so you think you know two four six you know i got eight states you know um i'm gonna be eventually uh, adding more maps over the time to this um going south and going west um the only good thing is is that um if you are a triple a gold member uh you can get these maps for free all you have to do is show them your card and just let them know what maps you need and they'll get you these maps for free so these don't cost you anything so if you have a membership or if you know someone who has a gold membership the platinum i think is what it is you can get you can have them get these maps for you for free so uh that's definitely a good thing to have and i each have these maps in my car and in my wife's car and then my parents have the same thing in their uh cars too so it's good to have these maps um, the one good thing that AAA actually did give when I went in was day trips. Like, so if you went to Indiana, you know, they even break it down to like hour, two hours. Let 
you know, all the way, you know, it tells you what to do. So that's kind of nice for the day trip for the Indiana. So if you kind of, depending on where you live and you don't know about any of these, you can, I'll go slow. So you could pause it and uh, see, you know, if you're in that area, if you ever go like on a day trip. There's your back side. So, then Michigan. There's a lot for Michigan. Ohio. So it was pretty nice when I went to go pick these maps up uh, over the summertime. Uh, the, you know, they they gave me uh, those day trip counts. So that's kind of cool. If you're ever going to do a, um, out and about, just go out with uh, your, your significant other. You, if you, you know, if you have a AAA, they'll give you those with the maps. You can plot that into your GPS and go check it out. So then uh, one thing I do, I keep in here... Uh, it's a knockoff, kind of like a you know energy drink, little you know little three four hour kick. It doesn't give you the five hour kick, but um, you can get these at Walmart. You can get a six pack of these for like four ninety seven, which is like very cheap, you know, and um, not bad. Then the last thing I kind of have in here is this little uh, Ziploc bag, kind of keep my stuff in. Um, I'm hoping, because uh, we're so close to the holidays, Christmas is around the corner, I asked for some small little bags, um, like kind of like a, a the same kind of material of this, you know, because I know this Ziploc bag isn't going to last, especially with having a knife in there once we get to showing you that. So, um, have a couple different types of lights. Uh, this is a light that uh, you can um, push on the side and you get, um, you get two beams. You get kind of like an infrared green and you get all and you get a flashing and it's pretty nice you can uh, just attach that to the rim of your hat and uh, you can go through there uh, these are the type of batteries that it takes there we go so I have a few I have like an extra uh, two I have a, a couple of these in my uh, EDC bag but this is kind of nice to have you can go um, not worry about um, you need to be hands free. Uh, this was part of a Winchester. This is a Winchester light that I got with a kit that came with a few um, knives and that that I bought for my EDC bags. So, uh, keeping with the light, this is just one of those um, you know kind of keychain you know little light. Sorry for blinding you, but it's good enough to where if you're in the middle of the forest and you want to be real low and not have a lot of light. I mean, this does kick off a lot of light, so uh, you might need to put, you know, like a towel or something or a poncho over your head so nobody's seeing the bright light. Or you could go to this guy, which this light, as you saw, isn't that that tough. So, um, Bic lighter. So, always good to have for fire starting. Um, this is a compass. And this is actually my wife's compass. So um, when she was um, uh, that she got when she did some camping and stuff. So uh, compass that she had that let, uh, let me have. And then the last thing I have, um, I'm actually gonna gorilla glue. You can see I lost a screw. This used to be my EDC knife before I went to my uh, knife that I have now. Um, there used to be a little flashlight on there. I lost a flashlight in that. But, uh, but it does have the seatbelt cutter and it has the window punch. 
And the cool thing about this is a uh, United States Army. Uh, it's not an official one, but uh, at Camp Perry they had they had these in all the services, all the branches: Marine, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard. And this was like twenty bucks, so I, I definitely picked one up. And it's a uh, you know it's a nice knife. Um, you know it's good and sharp for what it needs to be used for, but. The only thing I'll be doing is uh, adding some Gorilla Glue right there to keep it uh, locked in place. I'm going to see if I have any smaller screws to try to add in there. So, But that's pretty much what I have for my map case uh, so far. The one thing um, I have asked for that I'm hoping to uh, get for Christmas <laughs> is, um, is a kind of a, a light pen that uh, when you push down, when you're using a pen, I'll just use this pen right here. But when you're pushing down the, uh, around the, um, the, not the tip, but around the tip, it lights up in a very light color. So you can use that for writing on. So that's what I'm hoping, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll be getting for Christmas, hopefully. But uh, if not, <coughs> I'll be, I know I'll be getting some money. So if not, I'll just order one. So thank you guys so much for uh, watching uh, this video. And um, hopefully, if you haven't, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any comments, write them down below. And um, I don't know if I'm going to get a, a Christmas uh, video out. I'm going to try to get one shot before that. But if I don't, um, if you stay to the end, uh, Merry Christmas. And thank you guys so much for our, everything you guys have done for me this year. This is probably one of my best years on YouTube, you know. So thank you guys so much, and we will catch you guys down the road. See you.